it's July 2018 and archaeologists are excavating a site in Ireland when they make a once-in-a-lifetime discovery you see hidden beneath the vast cairn a man-made hill of stones is a mysterious megalithic tomb megalithic monuments are in fact one of the defining features of Neolithic culture in Ireland the large stone structures regularly served as tombs for human remains which were often cremated and interred along with items such as axes and arrowheads to date approximately 1200 megalithic monuments have been identified on the Emerald Isle and experts say that the largest of these structures have special ceremonial and spiritual significance now the tomb that the team were working on is located within the grounds of Douth Hall an Irish estate dating back to the 18th century and the structure forms part of the famous Brew na Boyne complex which lies 25 miles north of Dublin a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1993 Brew na Boyne is the Irish equivalent of Egypt's Valley of the Kings yes the vast prehistoric funerary complex is a rather significant site the Bruna Boyne monuments represent the largest and most important expression of prehistoric megalithic plastic art in Europe states the official UNESCO description of the site the concentration of social economic and funerary monuments at this important ritual center and the long continuity from prehistory to the late medieval period make this one of the most significant archaeological sites in Europe what's more the wider Boyne region around the site has been a hub of human activity for at least six millennia and the Neolithic henges standing stones and burial mounds of Bruna Boyne date to at least 5,000 years ago in fact the site's most ancient structures are older than the pyramids of Giza perhaps even more incredibly though the structures suggest that their builders possessed significant scientific and astronomical knowledge having studied the site for more than a century archaeologists and historians have identified more than 900 monuments within the Bruna Boyne complex and the site which presently covers 1927 acres and surrounding area may contain more undiscovered monuments for the time being though the site's most famous structures are the large passage tombs of Noth Newgrange and Douth now in case you were wondering a passage tomb is a kind of Neolithic gravesite consisting of a narrow stone-built passage and one or more covered burial chambers these types of burial sites are evident all over Europe too especially in Ireland Germany Scandinavia Netherlands and Britain in fact they're even as far afield as Northern Africa in Brune Boyne the tombs of Newsgrange Noth and Douth were built on ridges possibly as visual landmarks all three tombs are visible from the nearby banks of the River Boyne and together they appear to provide aesthetic cohesion to the site the tombs have certain archaeoastronomical features too indeed Noth aligns with the equinoxes well Newgrange and Douth point to the winter solstice moreover at Douth the evening Sun can be observed inside the passage between the months of November and February but on December 21st the winter solstice and shortest day of the year the sunlight tracks along the passage wall enters a circular burial chamber and illuminates three stones the site clearly holds much archaeological interest then so much so in fact that the period from 2012 to 2015 saw the entire Douth area extensively surveyed subsequently the passage tomb at Douth Hall was excavated by experts from the University College Dublin's School of Archaeology and the agriculture company Davenish which obtained the property in 2013 and the latest discovery represents the culmination of more than a year of work at the site and the discovery is a significant one at that indeed beneath a vast cairn spanning 130 feet the teams located a couple of previously hidden burial chambers the archaeologists also uncovered half a dozen curb stones which are thought to have been part of a circle of stones placed around the cairns perimeter what's more one of the curb stones has ornate carvings on its surface in fact the stone appears to be one of Ireland's finest ever examples of megalithic art megalithic art that is art created in the medium of enormous stones generally dates to the Neolithic and Bronze Age the art itself typically features abstract symbols but while there are many theories there's little agreement about what the carvings actually mean 
in Europe surviving examples exist in the Iberian Peninsula Brittany Malta and of course Ireland Ireland in fact is the megalithic art capital of Europe with the Boyne Valley as its hub Indeed the valley contains some 70% of the country's megalithic art and the style of the artwork which includes a spiral motif is Consistent with other examples from the British Isles Furthermore at least one researcher has suggested that such motifs reflect altered states of consciousness including perhaps those associated with shamanic practices But while the passage tomb at Douth Hall will probably yield more secrets in time Researchers say that this recent discovery is a momentous one For the archaeologist involved in this discovery. It's truly the find of a lifetime Dr. Cleodna Ni Leonian Devonish's chief archaeologist told BBC in July of 2018 It's an exciting opportunity to get to know more about some of the earliest farmers here at the Boyne Valley who are responsible for creating these amazing monuments and the Irish culture minister Josepha Madigan Stress the significance of the find too. The discovery of this new and very significant passage tomb cemetery, dating back to the Neolithic period, some 5,500 years ago, is hugely significant, he told the BBC. It will help improve our understanding of the people, culture, and heritage in that era. In fact, the Stone Age inhabitants of the Boyne Valley were the product of a seismic cultural transformation known as the Neolithic Revolution. Having originated in Mesopotamia present-day Syria and Iraq the revolution arrived in the British Isles around seven millennia ago The main thrust of this cultural shift was a move from hunter-gatherer lifestyles to more sedentary practices such as crop cultivation Importantly the Neolithic Revolution saw the establishment of permanent and semi-permanent settled communities and once humans had the capacity to settle and store food a whole new world of opportunities was available now humans could divide their labor and this in turn enabled new activities such as developing technology trading with other communities or indeed creating megalithic art back at Douth Hall meanwhile the new finds represent the latest in an impressive series of recent discoveries indeed the five-year search for the Devonish lands has seen the number of identified monuments increase from 8 to 13 and if the summer of 2018 is anything to go by Ireland's archaeologists will have their hands full for some time yet You see the unusually hot weather has revealed the outlines of some previously undiscovered archaeological sites One of these locations in fact appears to be a huge henge Possibly dating from the late Neolithic age As for the passage tomb at Douth Hall Ireland's National Monument Service is working to ensure the public have access to it Well, the provision of access to the public is of course at the discretion of the owners The owners fully appreciate the great public interest in the discovery the department told the Irish Times in July of 2018 Happily the organization added the site will open to the public on occasions throughout the year Check out these other videos from let me know if you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.